I uh, rise to adjourn in memory. Please proceed. I ask proceed. that we adjourn, adjourn in the memory today for my friend and constituent, Sidney Harmon. He was a nationally recognized businessman, public servant, publisher, and philanthropist who died uh, this past Tuesday. He was 92. Sidney was also a longtime husband of former Congresswoman Jane Harmon. Uh, Sidney was a Army veteran of World War II. Uh, he was also a groundbreaking co-creator of Harmon Carden Incorporated. They created the concept of high fidelity. He was the first to combine an amplifier, preamp, and radio tuner into a single piece of furniture, uh, basically the iPod of its day. But his greatest legacy may very well be how his leadership improved social justice and created public service programs nationwide. In 1970, Sidney learned that African-American workers at one of his plants in Tennessee were upset over being deprived of coffee breaks. Overruling his managers, he visited their plant and began Crawford Workplace Management. Uh, this became a case study for the Harvard Business School. And on a personal note, I was always impressed with Sidney Harmon's ability to recite Lincoln and Shakespeare from memory. Today, I'm reminded of one of Lincoln's quotes, and in the end, it's not the years in your life that count, it's the life in your years. Sydney had a great measure of both, and he will be missed. Yeah.